Wait, are you sure you're ringing the right room? It's 712. That's Ken George Jones. Maybe he's got the phone off the hook. No, no, no. They're ringing through. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, if he calls down for messages, would you please tell him his attorney is trying to reach him? Jillian Coleridge. He can leave a message at my office because I don't know when I'll be back. Thank you. Apparently, it's true. Ken doesn't talk when he's sick. Oh, he's sick, huh? That's what happened. Mm, according to Barry. Oh, you must have been out with little John. Barry came by. He said that Ken came down with one of those stomach bugs in the middle of the taping. That's why he disappeared. Without so much as a buy your leave. Hmm. I thought he looked pale during that tech rehearsal, but he sang so well. What, was it a public service spot or what? Hmm? Oh, yeah, the Kidney Foundation telethon. I can't believe that he would just disappear without a word. Well, you know these show business types. They're all wrapped up in themselves. Ken isn't. He's a very sensitive person. Oh, I'm not saying he doesn't have an ego. It's there in full bloom. He's wonderful. He knows it. Mm. But I can't comprehend his just walking out when people are counting on him. Well, listen, you don't know him that well. Maybe he's got a heart made of brass. All right, maybe he did get sick. One of those flu bugs hits you. It really lays you low fast. Well, look at Barry's in touch. What are you worried about? I have to worry. He's my client. He can't just go incommunicado on me. And besides, he's got a signed contract with the, kindi the Kidney Foundation people. And if they call me, I don't know the extent of his liability. I don't even know what he wants to do about the commitment. I've got to talk to him. What liability? The expenses incurred this morning, among other things. And it could be a PR problem. I thought Barry was handling the PR. Yeah, well, I'm afraid this could run into a breach of contract. And he is paying me one fat retainer. I feel like this one's on me. Well, all I can say is you're really earning your money. But it's probably worth it if it means the down payment on that brownstone for you and Frank. Hey, I tell you what let's do. Why don't we hang a get well quick note and a bottle of something potent around this one's neck and send him over to Mr. Jones's hotel room? <laughs> I think you're right. That's next. I have to go to the hotel in person. I wish I could find Barry. Well, uh, he and Dee went off somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Johnny, tell Frank I'm sorry I missed him for lunch. Welcome to Barry's sixth floor palace. <laughs> I have a housewarming present for you. I uh, packed us a beautiful lunch. Strangers in one house all want the same thing. I want to be a soap star. I want to be a soap star. I want to be a soap star. I adore arguing. And I hate confrontation. Woo! We're going to have a party. I'm a freak about crumbs. I'm going to bring a lot of cookies. I am so excited to sleep with you all. I wouldn't do anything nasty and wrong. Why be rude? I'm not going to let anyone stop me. I'm here to win. Bring it on. Who will you root for? A new season of I Want to Be a Soap Star. Thursdays at 11, only on SoapNet. An evil man murdered. He's dead. Everyone is safe now. And one powerful woman knows the truth. I want this autopsy file sealed. This is the only proof we have that Jason Morgan actually killed him. Then... Manny is dead. The threat has gone. On. Will Jason and Sam become one? We still love each other more than ever. And can past lovers find romance again? Sonny needs help. Maybe saving Sonny's been my destiny all along. GH, weekdays on ABC and weeknights on SoapNet. I'm famished. <laughs> hey, you know what I want? Hmm. Grilled tuna. Sounds good. Where do you want to go? How about right here? 
Check out Starker's Tuna Filets. Grilled, marinated, sliced tuna that's glazed with delectable sauces. The Starkest Flavor Fresh Pouch seals in the fresh taste for a healthy, delicious dinner. I love this tuna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I think you're kind of special too. Starkest Tuna Filets. Great taste is right here. Go ahead, I'll be right there. Wouldn't it be great if life worked like this parking meter? I could keep putting quarters in and stay here with my family forever. Of course, life doesn't work that way. That's why I bought life insurance from Colonial Penn to help make sure my final expenses won't become my family's problem. And it costs me about a quarter a day. For about a quarter a day, just $7.95 a month per unit, Colonial Pen offers guaranteed acceptance life insurance to people ages 50 to 85. These days, funeral costs alone average over $6,000. Now you can get help with no medical exam, no health questions. And the rate of $7.95 a month per unit is guaranteed never to increase. Call 1-800-582-6015 to receive free information in the mail. That number again is 1-800-582-6015. Or visit our website at colonialpen.com. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Oh, what do I care? Go ahead, hate me. <laughs> but just so you know, two days ago, I couldn't get my butt in these pants with a shoehorn. <sighs> Then I went on the original Celebrity Juice diet. Two days later, voila. Just two days. And you can have people hating you, too. The original Celebrity Juice diet. Get visible results in just two days. You gotta love that. Available at these fine retailers or CelebrityDiet.com. This is the apartment of my dreams. You dreamed of a six-flight walk-up? Find someone waiting for me with a posh picnic? Yes. Beds all made. I'm pretty much unpacked. I travel very light. Have it. Ah. So, to... No, no. Let me this time. To Barry. May he find everything he dreams about. I think I already have. So, what do you think of my Delia basket idea? I realized I was missing out on a sure bet with Summer and, and people wanting to eat outside in the park, maybe. So I worked up this elegant little spread. I love the basket and the red and white napkins and everything. I'll have people leave a deposit that they'll get back when they return the basket. You don't have to pay, of course. This is a present. Mm. Um, the food, I mean. I do need the basket. Everything is delicious. And so are you. Well, thank you, I guess. I meant what I said before. You're very close to the woman of my dreams. Close? Oh, I've never actually seen her face. I've had this image of her. Smart. <laughs> Independent in the best sense of the word. Beautiful. Magical. And terribly exciting. Would you like a stuffed mushroom? <laughs> Thank you. She's haunted me all my life, you know. Who has? That particular woman, the one that could get me to settle down. You know, I think it must be something that finally happens in your head and your heart when you meet the right person. Special kind of peace, the yelling inside stops, and the constant looking around. Guess there must have been a lot of women in your life. Oh, from time to time, but somehow or other, none of them seem to stay around for very long. Guess it must be me. And yet, long-term monogamy has always been a dream of mine, if such a life is possible. Oh, these days, I don't know. I tell you, life is nothing like what my mother told me it would be. I never expected my husbands to be unfaithful. Well, they had to be crazy. Oh, I was. At least after I found out. When I found out that Frank was cheating on me with Jill, something inside me just snapped. And then later with Roger, it was even worse. Patty never cheated on me, but he wanted to, and... Really, there isn't very much difference. I must say, I'm amazed at my New York cousins. The whole time I was growing up, they were supposed to be the paragons of virtue in the family. I thought, sure, Frank and Pat wore good conduct medals on their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what we heard about the Chicago Ryans. Yeah, fast and loose, huh? Well, nobody said that in so many words. Oh, uh, that was the impression. Not so. <laughs> well, it may be true that Terrence Flannery Ryan, my uh, grandfather, sowed wild oats all over, all over the Midwest, but... Uh, his legitimate issue were, as they say, downright upright. Like Maeve and Johnny? Well, not exactly, but sort of. Now there's my idea of the perfect marriage. Johnny thinks Maeve is the most wonderful woman in the world, and he always has. 
Well, he may have a point. Of their generation, of course. Anyway, naturally I figured that their sons would feel the same way about their wives, or wife, I mean, but I was wrong. No, they were. Were your parents, um, monogamous? Dad didn't have eyes for anyone except Ma. She saw to that. Oh, I have a picture of them that uh, says a lot about their relationship. Hold on. Dear, you come in here and take a look at this. This is a picture I took on the stoop when I was very young. <laughs> this is the way they were. Oh. You look a little like him. <laughs> and this is your mother. There's something very touching about this. I think it's the way she's looking at him. Well, also, the way she has her hand on his arms, like she's afraid he'll... I'm trying to reach Ken George Jones. He's staying here. Not with us, miss. Another hotel, perhaps? Uh, no, I know he's staying here. I'm his attorney. Okay, some identification. My bar association card. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that Mr. Jones is continually pursued by fans. You understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, reporters, too, likes to keep it private. Yes, I'm aware of that, but this is a matter of some urgency. I've tried reaching him on the phone to no avail. Could you possibly? Hmm. No answer. He must be out. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I know he's ill. That's why I'm so concerned. He also has a contract that I need badly. Well, you could go up and knock on his door if you want to. No, his manager, Mr. Ryan, tells me that when he's sick, he doesn't answer phones or doors. I wonder, could you possibly send somebody up with a, a pass key? See if he's all right and see if I could go up. If not, tell him to give you the contract. He'll know what I mean. Well, if the sign says, do not disturb, I don't disturb her, I get my head bitten off. On the other hand, if my client is seriously ill, and the hotel has refused to check in on him. Thanks very much. There we go. I to say made a few steps anyway. Thank you. Yep. Listen, you don't have to drink coffee on my account. If you want a beer or, or something strong. No, no, no. I've, I've been around booze so much over the Crystal Palace, I kind of lost my taste for it. You don't drink at all? Now and then, it's not a big deal with me. How's it going for you? Staying off the sauce? Mm-hmm. It's okay. Well, from what I hear about it, it's not that easy. You know, honey, I think there's a lot of things you're not telling me. Oh, if I did, I... Huh? Okay, it's, uh... No, it's not that easy. I wish I could describe it. It's like, it's like I don't have skin. That everything just hits me directly. Noise, light, even as much as silverware on a plate. I just, ooh. and emotions. I don't, I just react so strongly and so fast. It scares me. And I'll tell you, the mood swings are amazing. I mean, it's nothing I can't handle. It's, it's just um, unnerving. Yeah. See, I knew you were depressed when I came in here. Well, I was, and I wasn't. I mean, you're here, and it's, it's much better now. I, I don't know what it was. I was watching Jill and Frank, and um, I just got very sad all of a sudden. You know, it could be you're still missing Tom. Oh, of course, yeah. But I do worry about them. I don't know why my sister is being such a nitwit. She could have it all right now. Mm. Career. House, ready-made children, a fine, wonderful husband. I don't know what the hell she's waiting on. <clears throat> well, it beats me, too. I've talked to Frank. He feels pretty much the same way. Oh, I think Frank is being so patient. He's being a total angel about this. <laughs> oh, don't tell him that. He won't be able to put his hat on straight. 
I don't know. I think the two of them, they're going to work it out. Please. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. I promised Jill I would mind my own business. <laughs> okay. What's your business? Well, for the time being, it is being good to myself and enjoying the things in life I want to enjoy. What are you doing the rest of the afternoon, Robert? This Sunday, catch up with I Want to Be a Soap Star. If you missed a second of the explosive... It's gonna blow! Shocking. Pretty hot stuff. Outrageous new season. <gasps> pick a -boo. Now's your chance to catch the first five episodes back to back. If I don't get in there, they're gonna die. How you doing? I was doing better before I saw that scene. <laughs> the I Want to Be a Soap Star Catch-Up Marathon. This Sunday, starting at 4 p.m., only on SoapNet. He's the wedding guest no one expected. Don't miss back-to-back -back episodes of Days. Watch Monday through Friday's episodes starting at a special time. This Sunday at 9 on SoapNet. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. Having problems with your phone service? Switch to the Ewing Family Plan. Well, Whether it's business or pleasure. Sign up for the Ewing Family Plan on Dallas. Today at 2, only on SoapNet. You are going to love this. Come here. Wow. Three Musketeers. Light, fluffy chocolate with 45% less fat. Don't even think about it. Also available in minis. You're changed, man. How's that? You got off that train back there, you did two things you've never done before. At least not at the same time. You shook my hand. And then you looked me square in the eye. Where'd that come from? Ladies, I'm up for it all the time. Desired by women. You abducted me. Envied by men. Did you like abduction? Passionately. Critics are calling The Libertine a must-see movie. Johnny Depp is brilliant. The Libertine, only today on DVD. Rated R. Imagine a different kind of foundation that's actually good for your skin. Bare Minerals is a lightweight, loose mineral foundation that covers all your imperfections while giving you the look and feel of beautiful bare skin. You'll receive two foundations in your choice of four skin tones. It's a natural SPF 15 sunblock that protects your skin from aging UVA and UVB rays. You'll also receive warmth, a very special Bare Minerals that gives your skin the natural looking sun-kissed glow of health. And for the perfect finishing touch, you'll receive Mineral Veil, a feather light, completely sheer powder for a flawless looking airbrushed finish. Plus, you'll receive three professionally designed brushes. Just swirl, tap, and buff away the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, redness, uneven skin tone, freckles, and blemishes. Try Bare Minerals for 60 days. If you're not happy for any reason, just send it back for a full refund of your purchase price. Call 1-800-840-8595. If you think $5 doesn't go very far, wait till you see where it takes your television with DirecTV. Now, you can add over 30 exciting channels of awesome entertainment, fun cartoon networks that your kids will love, and fascinating educational programming. Just transform your Total Choice package into Total Choice Plus for as little as $5 more per month. That's incredible value. Upgrade to Total Choice Plus programming today. Visit directtv.com or call 1-800-531-5000. Like you. Barry, you sent it. You wouldn't pressure me. Am I? Yes. How? This. What about our picnic? We can have it in here later. Well, you shouldn't leave food out like that, it'll spoil or attract to answer. Shh. First things first. Barry, I can't. Why? You want to? I know. So? So? I told you before. 
I explained. I can't get involved with another man. Not that way, anyway. I told you that. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. Changes every day, every minute we spend together. Something wonderful is happening for us, Delia, and it's going to go on happening if you'll only let it. It just would be wrong. Forgive me, but that sounds like something I heard on the back seat after the senior prom. Don't make fun of me. This is painful. <sighs> You're telling me. Look, this is usually the time that I say, oh, what the hell? But all my instincts tell me to stay out of bed with you. Is that what they're really saying to you? Not entirely, not all of them. Well, then listen to the smart ones. Dilly, you're making this more complicated than it has to be. You are. If we go to bed together, things won't be the same anymore. They'll be better. It doesn't work that way for me. Never has. You know, I feel as if that woman I told you about, that dream I've been pursuing all my life, just turned around and said, get away from me, you creep. You're just like all the rest. I better go. I'm sorry if I led you on. I thought that you understood. I, I, I do. It's just that it hurts. How does that thing work? If you're not going to eat the food, it should go in the refrigerator. Will I see you again? Sure. I have to bring back the basket. Delia. I'm still your friend. thought. <laughs> well, come on over here and find out. I have a fancy lunch and nobody to share it with. Oh, how nice. I just looked in the refrigerator and, and, and there was nothing there but alfalfa sprouts. <laughs> Do you want me to bring them? No, it's not necessary. Just bring yourself. 123 Claremont on the roof. Five minutes? All right. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soapnet. She's tough. You do the right thing when it's the right time, or you get no medals from me. Unpredictable. I have a question for you. What would you say to my coming back to Chabot? Sassy. I think you're jealous. That's what I think. Sultry. I want to smack her up against the head for sleeping with our son. Get to know Phyllis Summers Abbott. Genoa City's resident schemer. We're going to retain my stock in the company. We're going to fight you on this. The Young and the Restless. Next on Soapnet. Don't you underestimate me. Guest host Bobby Eats gets the job done. First of all, I did Travis Tritt. I, I interviewed Travis Tritt. <laughs> Peter Reckle on Playing Bo. It's, it's heartbreaking and just hard to do. And John J. York makes his mark. He's a hunk. Oh, she Watch Soap Talk. Tonight at midnight, only on Soapnet.
My first hospital told me there was nothing they could do. There was no hope, go home and die. I called Cancer Treatment Centers of America. In less than 48 hours, I went from one doctor who told me there was no hope to an entire team who gave me hope. It's about all of us coming together and helping the patient. We work very closely with the naturopathic doctors, with the nutritionists, with the pain doctors. We use nutrition to stimulate and boost a patient's immune system. My team and I can offer treatments most people have never even heard of. They will not give up on me if I don't give up on myself. If you're up for the fight of your life, a revolutionary way to fight cancer is closer than you think. So call today. You'll get a free life-changing information kit and speak with an oncology information specialist. Cancer Treatment Centers of America, a revolutionary way to fight cancer. I owe my life to Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Well, I uh, guess I don't have to be anywhere till 5 o'clock. So we have the whole afternoon? Yeah, yeah, if, uh, if you like. I like. Do I make you nervous? Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh... <laughs> you surprise me sometimes. <laughs> What's so surprising about the fact that you're attractive and very nice to be with? Well, now, how am I going to answer a question like that? I'm sorry. I guess it wasn't fair. No, no. Just... No, I guess the whole world isn't into mental health. <laughs> I don't know. I say something nice, and uh, he cringes. Mm -hmm. Well, I see what you mean by the mood swings. Enjoy it while it lasts. Come on, let's do something wonderful. OK. Uh, be good to yourself. You see, I heard that at an AA meeting, and I guess it means um, relax and enjoy all the things that uh, make you happy and pleasure you. Well, I'm glad you're going to AA. I think that's terrific. Well, I, I've only gone, gone to a couple of meetings. Um, I'm just not a joiner. And I think I have a pretty good idea of their program. No, no, I don't know about that. You know, Eddie, the guy who joined, he says, you got to go to the meetings. you got to keep on going to the meetings. Well, if your friend wants to spend the rest of his life in church basements, that's dandy. But I think I can kick this thing on my own. And I want to tell you something. I wish you wouldn't be so avuncular with me. Well, okay, that's a deal. If you just tell me what it means. Uncleish. You do like me, don't you? Oh, very much. Maybe that's a problem. That's not a problem. <sighs> okay, let's go. Okay. Bye, Johnny. Thank you. Take care now. Johnny, I'll be back later. Yeah. And what do you think, Finn? Is that a possibility or is that a possibility? Huh? Uh, Mr. Jones isn't in his room, miss. <laughs> well, that's not possible. His manager told me specifically that he was ill and in his hotel room. Could be he's in the hospital, you think? I don't know what to think. Johnny. I swear, one day that dog's gonna take a bite out of me. <laughs> he finds you madly irresistible, T. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna stop curling my hair, or put wearing makeup, or get bad breath. What, all on account of Finn? No, Johnny. What? I don't know what to do. I just... Walked out on a picnic with Barry Ryan because... because he got kind of fresh. Well, Dee, I mean... You, you have been seeing a great deal of each other, and you are a, a very attractive girl. You think maybe I overreacted? I should go back and apologize? What do you think? Don't miss all the happenings in Port Charles. Watch General Hospital tonight at 10, only on SoapNet.